Okay, so I'm going to show you how to patch HP i7-4700MQ with HD4600. It's a very fast computer. It is to open. So we're going to look for ESC1. Okay, so here we are. So we have ESC1 and we have PR01 right here is connected zero and inside this we also have PR11 so inside here you have one two three four five six seven eight wow so we're gonna patch with ESC2 I'm sure there's many different uh, way of patching but it's the way I patch mine so I got all my USB working. Oh, this one has four ports. So two on the right, right top, right bottom. And then we plug two more in here. Let's see what happens, okay. Right now we're gonna put one on the left side. And this one is rear. Okay, see that? All four ports are working. So it doesn't matter what you patch, as long as you got four ports working. And this is the way I patch mine. So I just follow this. I'm going to patch everything in here. HXC. This one right here. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have four, 15 plus four, five is 20. Wow. So this one right here, this one USB three, uh, connector three, connector three, connector three. Connector 3. Wow. All connector 3. So what are you going to do? Here's what I do. I'm going to open my USB host family.kex. Okay, now we can open the Iowa Registry Explorer. And we're going to look for EN0. That's good. EN1. Good. EHC. Now. PR0, PR01, USB connector 00, zero. PR12, connector 255. So if you look in here, it's only half that. Now, HSC, in here you have 14, missing one, and you have six. So first, I want to patch the whole thing. Remember, this is on your DSDT, which is the one you extract from the system. So this is IOUSB host family .cax. Show package content. Content. Plugin. Inside here, they have two USB EHC PCI and. USB XHC PCI. First, EHC is a 2.0. So we're going to open it up. So the first one, I have personality. So I use MacBook Pro 11 2. So I have two of them ESC1, ESC2. So you can leave it like this or you can add to match exactly like on the left hand side here so how do I do this so let's look so you see here they have port counts so we add this one we copy this alternate C see this one doesn't have it you see that so we're going to add port count right here exactly the same as that one and then we're going to copy the ports also 
Okay, so we duplicate. So ESC1, port count, PR01, PR01. And the USB connector on this one is, the connector is zero. Port one, this is zero, not 55. So since we don't use USB 2.0, connected so much on this one so all we need to do is to add the port 0 1 the connector is 0 and port is 1 the same with the ESC2 so all we add is just the port PR01 and let the K USB max enable on both of them we're done for the USB 2.0 the Apple USB EHCI PCI text. So now we're gonna do the so we do the same thing. So let's look at it, okay? XHC this one right here. PCI open So what you're gonna do is gonna look for MacBook Pro 11.2 So the first thing we want to do is we rename this one to HXC and also I will name match HXC okay so here how many port they have originally 13 only the port counts here 15 is 0 F. After the 15 you become 1. So it's going to be 15. Okay. So the first port we have HS01. All we want to make sure is the connector is correct. Okay. So that's one. Address one. See right here? Address one. So that's a good one. And now we need number two. So we need to add number two, which is connector three, address two. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this one. Alternate C, alternate V. Change this one to two. And then make sure it's number two. And then go to the V. It's number three. Okay, so we're done. See? So it's not that bad. So now we need to verify to make sure that we patch everything correctly. So the HSC PCI. So let's look at this one. MacBook Pro, ESC1, port count 1, and then port is PR01 only. Good. MacBook Pro, port count is 1, port is also 1. So that's good. So we're going to try this one. So XSC Notebook Pro. So we're going to check. So the port count now. is 1D. That's what I use. Port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 15 plus 6 of them. 
so make sure the connector is the same so all we need to make sure is the connector is correct and also the address which is port number so now you got everything so we can install it